So the problem with CDH or congenital diaphragmatic hernia is essentially that the lungs are too small. The lungs are too small because the hole in the diaphragm allows the contents of the abdomen to come up or herniate up into the chest. When this happens, the abdominal contents squish the lungs and don't allow them to grow appropriately. In a small subset of patients, the lung hypoplasia, or the inadequate lung growth, is so severe that it jeopardizes severely their ability to survive after birth. In these cases that we can diagnose prenatally, we do tracheal occlusion, where essentially we put a balloon into the trachea that occludes or blocks the trachea. The way in which this blockage of the trachea facilitates or causes lung growth is that the lungs are always producing fluid in utero. And as the lungs produce more and more fluid, if the trachea is occluded, then there's no place for the fluid to go. We know from many examples in biology that when you stretch or pull on lung tissue, like the, on, on tissue, that it causes growth. And so that's essentially what we're doing is we're sort of pulling and stretching the lungs from the inside to cause lung growth.